morning. So as you will have seen on the thumbnail, this is the last big ride before the big ride. So exactly a week's time I'll be on the ride London. Um, so it's just coming up for nine in the morning. So hopefully I'll be well out into Essex by, by then. I've got a half six start, uh, sorry, a half seven start. So yeah, I should be kind of beyond Epping by then and well into Essex. But um, this is a another 70-ish mile. I think it's about 74 miles, this one. Goes out kind of west of Peterborough and heads up uh, kind of around Oundle and comes back up Alconbury Hill or Vinegar Hill. Um, so yeah, it should be a good ride. It's a beautiful day. It's still a bit cold. And I did this morning, I did have my arms out, but when I got the bike ready, it was, um, it was actually still quite cold and it's quite breezy as well. So I think for certainly the first few sections of this route, I'm gonna have a headwind, but um, most of the ride home will be a tailwind or a kind of cross tailwind, which will be good. So, so yeah, so I will put you back on the bike Oh, and I'll speak to you again. I don't know where, but I will speak to you again. Let's just get you out of the sun. Um, yeah, so I'll I'll speak to you again when on the uh, on the route. I'm going to be out a few hours, as is normally the case. So I certainly won't be caning it. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy this one. You'll probably enjoy it more more than I will while I'm riding it but um, no it should be a good ride so I will speak to you later and I'll see you in a bit I'll see you in a bit Thing I have said before when I've come out this way is that it's a lot hillier than going out east and obviously from where I am heading out east it goes out into the fens and this this way and heading west is a lot hillier comparatively anyway I mean, they're not massive hills, but... I was saying that. I mean, that wasn't a massive hill, but it's just... It just goes on a bit. So anyway, talking to going on a bit, I'll shut up and I'll let you get back to the scenery. I'll see you in a bit. So I just stopped back there for a wee and made the absolute rookie mistake of facing the oncoming wind. I didn't even realise until I'd started. Obviously got absolutely soaked, but <clears throat> at least it's a fairly warm day and breezy, so <laughs> I'm sure I'll dry out soon enough. But yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Absolute idiot. But anyway, I'm now, as you might be able to tell, 
headed directly into a headwind. It's um, it's not a really strong wind to be honest, but I mean it's enough to for me to feel it. But it's going really well at the moment. I'm just coming up for 16 miles in, which is good. So I will press on, dry out, <laughs> and uh, speak to you a bit later. <laughs> See you in a bit. So I've just come through that absolutely stunning village of uh, Wandsford. I've cycled around here before, but I can't actually remember going through the village. Um, absolutely beautiful, really nice. I mean, all the buildings are obviously of the same kind of age because they're all made out of the same stone, but including this bridge. This bridge is amazing. Let's give you a quick view of it. So I'm being watched by a horse down here <laughs> just just stood there watching me like i'm some sort of idiot well i probably look like some sort of idiot to him anyway but so yeah let's uh let's have a quick go over here and see what's over here so wow look at that absolutely stunning and look at that grass <laughs> So, so yeah, so I've, so I've just stopped, um, just had a quick breather, uh, 26 miles in, so I've still got quite a long way to go yet. Um, I think this is about seven, just under 75, I think, this ride. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's starting to get really warm. I took the gilet off because I was starting to get really hot. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to press on. Uh, I need to find somewhere else to go and have a wee and I'll make sure I stand out of the wind this time. So I will get back on the bike. I'll put you back on the bike and I will see you in a bit. See you in a bit. So I'm just over 33 miles in, going really well at the moment. Although I think I have missed the turning back there because the Garmin's telling me I'm currently off course. Um, I know this road, I've just seen a signpost down there. I mean, it is picking a route up because it's telling me I've got to turn right up here, but seeing a signpost down there, I know this is the, the road to Oundle, so it is the direction I want to be heading um, but I'm sure it'll pick the route up again once I get into Oundle and I've been through there a few times anyway so but it's really good so far 
I'm kind of riding out of the wind at the moment, which is nice. That was really scrubbing some of the time off and certainly some of the speed off. Not that I'm out trying to break any land speed record, but it was, I was struggling in places in that wind, but it's going really well at the moment. And as you will have seen, as I'm, <laughs> I'm coming into another one, this area is full of absolutely stunning villages, like stone built cottages, really beautiful. Obviously it makes it being such a nice day as well. But, so yeah, so going really well. Um, I'll speak to you when I'm on the other side of Andal, so I will see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. gone through Oundle, another absolutely stunning town. I mean, I, I hesitate calling that a village because it's quite built up. But um, I've ridden through Oundle quite a few times and down this road that we're currently on. Absolutely stunning. So I think I've kind of picked the route up now because the Garmin's not now telling me that I'm off route. So um, we're 39 miles in. So going really well at the moment still. It's getting a bit overcast, but it's not forecast to rain today. It's not forecast to rain, I don't think, all week. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna pedal on and I'll speak to you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. just over 52 miles in really glad to be off that main road out of Clopton because I was really struggling with the wind that sounds really bad it wasn't it was the meteorological I can't even say it it was the wind in the air not the wind out of me I never normally struggle with that I just let it go um, but yeah it has been really blowy and it's a bit of a head, even down here I can feel it, it's a bit of a headwind. So it is making it a little more difficult, the riding, because it's, it's just taking a lot more energy to kind of ride into it. But still really enjoying it. As I say, I'm coming up, I'm kind of on familiar roads now, I'm coming up for 53 miles. So I kind of, I've been down these roads so many times, so I know this road really well. So I kind of, um, I've got that sense of familiarity now. Um, 
the only problem is I know that we're going to be going up I know that we're going to be going up Vinegar Hill in a few miles which I'm really not looking forward to but until then I'll stick you back on the bike and I'll speak to you in a bit I'll see you in a bit so I'm just coming up for the last little kick at the end of Vinegar Hill I'm absolutely knackered um, oh bloody hell this wind I know I've said it already but it is so much more windy than I really thought it was going to be today I'd have still come out because this is really the last kind of big training ride before the ride London so I would have been out on the bike anyway but it has made it a bit bit of a tougher challenge today but then again oh, you know it's still still good for the training so so I'm just coming up to the A1 not that I'm getting on the A1 I'm going over the A1 um, so I'll speak to you in a bit because it's going to start getting a bit noisy up here I'll see you in a bit see you in a bit so I'm cutting the route slightly short I should have gone down carried on down that main road down to uh, Abbott's Ripton and King's Ripton and then I was going to um, cut up through to Broughton and then back into Warboys by the church and the clock tower. But what I'm doing now is I've cut off the main road. I'm heading down now towards Wellington. So I'm going to cut through Wellington, Wellington and then go back up the twisty road to Wistow, up Wistow Toll and then back down into Warboys that way. So it will shave a few miles off. I mean, I'm still just, um, just over 61 miles at the moment. So it's been a really good ride, but this wind is just <laughs> sapping every ounce of energy out of me at the moment. It's, uh, it's not just kind of physically demoralizing, it's really mentally demoralizing because you're just absolutely battling into it uh, well I am anyway um, obviously if it's this windy next week then I'll just have to crack on I'll just have to put my head down and get on with it but um, hopefully it won't be and I think from what I remember just with the terrain and the the kind of type of roads that I'll be riding on I think it'll be a little bit more sheltered as well than certainly some of the roads I've been out on just now so I will turn you around so you can um, again see the see where we're going and I will speak to you again when I get home I won't be too long now so um, yeah so I'll see you see you in a bit see you in a bit
how amazing was that? It was just mad. It was just like waves coming across it. It's brilliant. Blimey. So I did <coughs> come down through Broughton in the end, mainly because I thought if I go out up the twisty road into Wistow, I'm going to be heading into a headwind. So it is now a crosswind. I've kind of stopped. I don't know, you can't really see it, but there's a massive kind of hedgerow here, which is sheltering me at the moment. So I'm going to get across here, head down into the headwind, going down into Warboys, and then I'll speak to you when I get home. So I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. As you can see, I'm back. Um, it was just under 70 miles. It was about 69 and a half miles. I, I was so tempted to do a couple of laps of the estate just to get it up to 70, but I really couldn't be bothered. Um, that was incredibly windy out there. I mean, it's still really blustery now, but it was a really good ride. Um, it was the last of the big rides before the big ride. Um, I'm only in, it's Sunday today, I'm only in tomorrow on Tuesday in work. So I've booked, um, I was due to be in Thursday, Friday night, but I've booked those off. So I might go out on a um, sort of 20, 30 mile ride, possibly on Wednesday or Thursday, but failing that, I'm just gonna be cleaning the bike, making sure it's all lubed and ready, and um, just get all my gear ready for, for next Sunday. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to support the Alzheimer's Society um, by following the link in the video. And I will see you in London next weekend. So looking forward to it. I'm actually starting to get quite excited about it. I'm still a little anxious about how we're gonna get down there. I mean, I kind of know how we're gonna get down there, but um, yeah, you know, once I'm on the bike, once I'm at the start, I think I'll be a bit more relaxed. I just hope it's not going to be as windy as this. But, um, yeah, so I will see you um, at some point next Sunday morning down in London. So, see you in a bit. Thanks for watching. Cheers.